Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I've got some great cleaning motivation for you. I have been recently experimenting with making bread, sourdough bread, and so it's just honestly a project and kind of like an art to learn. So a lot of other things have been put by the wayside and my house just needed to be cleaned and obviously cleaning up my mixer and things like that from my baking. If you're new here, my name is Adeline. I'm a mom of three little girls and I do lots of motivating videos. I put up three videos a week and I do a lot of DIYs and recipes and just whatever I'm up to is what I like to post. I've also started doing giveaways of some of my favorite cleaning products and last month I gave away my mop and Genevieve, I believe I'm saying her name right, was our winner. So she's going to be receiving the mop in the mail and then I've got something coming up in the next video or two. So stay tuned for that giveaway. So even though I haven't been totally successful in baking my sourdough bread, it's still so rewarding to learn something new. And especially with all of this time that we've had at home in the last few weeks and almost two months, um, it's been really great to learn new things. And it's kind of given me a step back a little bit from social media, just getting into more deeper homemaking things like making bread. What have you guys been up to? Is there something new that you've learned while you've been home or something Something new that you've taught yourself let me know in the comments so you all know that I use a lot of Norwex products to clean and this blue cloth I talked about it the last time it is a scrubber cloth and it works so well to scrub out your pots and pans and of course you don't have to keep repurchasing scrubbies and you can wash it so it's way more sanitary and it has so many uses just for scrubbing things up. This day I was listening to a audiobook on Audible. It's called Five Habits of a Woman That Doesn't Quit. I've actually listened to this book a couple times and it's so good. So if you need a good recommendation of a motivating book, I highly, highly recommend this one. The dish drainer or colander, whatever you want to use it for that is in my sink is from Ikea. I get this question so often, so when I remember to answer it, it is from Ikea and I think it's like $4, but it's the handiest little kitchen tool. So 
So if you guys saw, I was moving a bag of frozen chicken around that was thawing out. That is for the dinner idea that I'm gonna give you guys a little later in this video. Um, I love quick and simple dinners and especially something that's kind of like a crowd pleaser. So stay tuned for that and I'll let you know what I made this day. This is the mop that I gave away and I actually gave away the larger size. This is the smaller size and I love it because with Norwex, you're removing 99% of bacteria from surfaces, including your floors when you're using their mop. And as always, I leave a link in the description box for a video where I explain how that works and how it removes the bacteria and does a great job cleaning. So the reason this video is not posted on one of my normal days is because we have actually oh, been having some interesting last few days. So you all know that I've talked about before that we have considered buying this house and we currently rent it right now and um but we really would like to buy it so we actually had a meeting with our landlords discussing future plans of that and discussing some home projects that they would also like done to the house and if you are new around here my husband is a contractor and um, i grew up with a dad as a contractor so i know how to do um, a lot of stuff myself I, I know how to lay flooring and just those sorts of things and we're very diy people so you're gonna see um, in the next little while probably some different projects coming up that are kind of some bigger scale things maybe um, and just some stuff that's out of the usual things I do I guess um, but some exciting things so stay tuned because there's gonna be more news on all of that and um, just some big changes I think coming into our lives I had to hit pause on the massive laundry pile <laughs> um, because I need to start getting some dinner around. We're going to be making some super, super simple chicken fajitas for dinner. And this is something that I like to keep around. Actually, Walmart sells these in this big of a bag. They are even more we've used out of it. They're just simple corn tortillas and we use them. We do Taco Tuesday and then, um, of course, for fajitas. We can use them for the same thing. So I'm gonna cut up the onions and peppers, get them sauteing. Um, obviously my chicken has been thawing out, so we'll get that going. And then I always like to toast these in a little bit of olive oil in the pan before we eat them. To wash up my produce, I'm actually using my Norwex veggie um, cloth. And you can use this for vegetables and fruit, and it really just does a great job. I like that I don't have to run a sink full of water to soak my fruit or veggies every time. Obviously, with berries, it's a little bit different. But when it comes to these types of vegetables, that cloth is so awesome. And a few years ago, I did a garden, and whenever I did that, obviously your things are a lot dirtier whenever they come out of the garden. So it's a super handy thing to have around especially when you have a garden. Okay, while my peppers and onions were frying up, which I do have them on kind of a low heat, I find that when the high heat is going on with these, they just get burnt before they're actually soft and tender. So I am going to finish frying them up and then I sliced up some chicken into like 
actual chicken strips. This is personally how I like to do fajitas. I like to fry the individual strips. I like them to have a little bit of brown on the outside. They just taste so good that way. So I'm gonna put some olive oil across this and then I'm gonna mix in salt and pepper and cumin, chili powder, and garlic powder and just kind of coat them really well before I pull this out and then I'll put the chicken in here and fry it all up together. I've started to try to make my dinners a little bit more presentable and really pretty. So I was using these trays. I also use these whenever I make tacos just to put all of our toppings in and it makes it kind of fun to eat that way. This was the next day. I did not film the finishing of the laundry pile, but I thought, you know what? It's real life. We don't get everything filmed all the time. So this is my youngest daughter's room. And if you missed it, I will link below the video where I did this wall. And I also did um, some things in the other room that my daughters sleep in. So um, you guys can definitely check that out. It was a really fun one to do and it's full of DIYs and a lot of great ideas if you want some inexpensive ways to do some decorating. So I went ahead and picked up toys. They do this on a daily basis, but whenever I'm going through to clean and vacuum I generally just pick it up myself so that I can quickly zip through and get it all done fast Then I also did this faux shiplap in that video as well. As you can see on the wall here, that is not real shiplap. <laughs> it's definitely faux. And in our last house, I did it in so many rooms and it's a really easy process. It's a little tedious to make sure the lines are straight, but it's pretty simple and definitely very, very cheap to do. I moved on to my daughter's bathroom and used my toilet bombs. Uh, I always try to remember to link the video that I made those in below. And also if you check out my oil Instagram page, I share with you my sprays and how I make those. And don't forget to use the hashtag inspired by Addy if you were inspired today to get up and do something on your to-do list or if you try out any of my DIYs. If 
if you're new here, I'd love it if you subscribed. Thanks so much for watching today. I hope that this motivated you. Don't forget to give this video a like. Leave a comment below. Let me know who you are if you're new around here or if you watch often. Let me know what you're up to and I will see you guys in my next video.